So Christmas is fast approaching and the uh, solar shed needs some decoration, I'd suggest. So I've been out and I've got this, a 3D Xmas tree, a Velman mini kit from good old Maplin. So let's see what's inside. Okay, so some red LEDs, two PCBs, which I believe slot together to make a 3D tree. Take them apart again for now. Uh, a bag of other bits. We've got some capacitors. Um, we've got a couple of transistors, four transistors, some yellow LEDs and some green LEDs. And a bunch of resistors and some bits of wire. Okay, so looking at the card in here, there we go, this is our project. So would you believe after all that work I can't find a 9 volt battery to even test it. So I've got my DC to DC converter here set to 1 amp 9 volts. Um, that should be right, shouldn't it? Let's give it a go. Well some of the LEDs are coming on. And others aren't. Nothing's happening. So what's that? That's going into constant voltage mode. No. Oh. Let's pretend we've got a fairly fresh 9 volt battery, 9.75 volts. Well, the LEDs are brighter, but nothing's happening. Oh, Christmas is ruined. Day two of what was meant to be about an hour's project, but I'm back, and this time I have a battery. Right, I'm going to plug this in, see what happens. Now, I think, my theory is that the DC to DC converter was hitting 9 volts and therefore delivering no amps. It was going into constant voltage mode and not delivering any ampage. So, here we go. So, right way around, isn't it? Um... Hmm. Okay, looking at the schematic for this uh, Xmas tree, this I believe is an A-stable multi-vibrator or an oscillator. Um, these uh, capacitors charge up and discharge through the bases of these transistors, um, oscillating one side to the other. Um, and obviously, we've done this twice: once on each PCB, and. Uh, there we can see the same circuit, oops, there we go, on Wikipedia. I think I'm going to try remove these capacitors uh, and place the Arduino on these points here to actually power the base of each of these transistors so I can use the Arduino to uh, oscillate these uh, LEDs and of course that will allow me to be a bit more random in code and uh, have a bit of a different chase going on on my Christmas tree. Yeah, so removing these capacitors should give me easy access to an Arduino possibly stuck on the side of the battery there. Arduino will be powered off that same 9 volt battery and we should be able to get in now transistors are current driven from my understanding so I'll need a resistor in series with the uh, base of the uh, transistor to make sure nothing goes wrong and we don't blow any pins I just need to work out the value of that resistor bear with me while I get a piece of paper okay so to explain a little bit further if I've got 9 volts up here and my 
transistor, NPM transistor here. Sorry about the rough drawing. Um, we'll have collector, uh, emitter, and base over here. And obviously my LEDs, according to that schematic, are up here. So my understanding is if I put the Arduino, I don't know, digital pin 5 here, it can draw an awful lot of current from the pin down to ground, which is here. So I need a resistor in there. B equals IR, Ohm's law, uh, which means that R equals V over I. So R equals um, 5 divided by, now each Arduino pin can do, I think it's 40 milliamps. But to be on the safe side, let's try... 20 milliamps which is uh, that's, so that's crossed out that's 0 0.02 amps ah now but as we can see there's a diode here so presumably there's some voltage drop across that diode 0.725 volts dropped across that diode so I need to account for that Okay, so 5 minus 0.72 equals 4.28 divided by 0 0.02, 214. So R equals 214 ohms. Well, I've got loads of 220 ohm resistors, so I'm going to try that. So I've got my resistors, got my Pro Mini, and I've put this code on it. So we just set up some... LED names up here. I'm using 2, 4, 7 and 8. Hopefully they're positioned in a reasonable fashion that I can get to. None of those are PWM pins you'll notice because, as I said earlier, the transistors are current driven. So changing the voltage doesn't help really or doesn't do much. So that's uh, non-PWM pins. Set them all up as output and the loop is quite simple. We just digital write to each of the LED uh, pins. A random, which uh, the lowest it can be is zero, and it needs to stop before it gets two. I think that's right. And we've also then delayed of random between 100 milliseconds and 1,000 milliseconds. So that should give us a fairly random Christmas tree, hopefully. Capacitors have been desoldered, and I'm also going to remove these resistors at the top. But I can't be bothered unsoldering those, so I'm just going to cut them out. Okay, so I've gone for green and brown wires, just because, you know, they're tree-like, aren't they? So then, some foam double-sided sticky tape on here should secure the Arduino and uh, make it a bit easier for me to solder these wires which way up makes more sense well wiring wires to resistors wasn't too much fun but i've just about managed to do it you know it can go that way can't it or that way and you won't even see the arduino so you know right i've not plugged this in let's see if i've managed to sort this out <gasps> Things are flashing. Look at that. But not quite all of them. Well, obviously, uh, which one is it? Knocked that one, haven't I? That's pulled the track off the PCB. I'm going to have to see if I can fix that. Got this tinned piece of wire. Hopefully that will work. Way around. X. 
excellent. So if one of those series of four LEDs now is not working. Oh, here goes nothing. Christmas is nearly here. Get it connected. On. <gasps> I think I've done it. Well, it was a bit touch and go whether I was actually going to be able to complete this project. Um, it didn't work out of the box. That's a shame. The PCB doesn't like being resoldered very much, but the Arduino sat there happily controlling four channels of LEDs through transistors. So I've learned a few things. I've learned about the um, a stable multi vibrator circuit. I've learned about this random function in Arduinos and I've also learned a bit about putting transistors, NPN in particular, um, and using those with Arduino. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Comment, like, and share. And I hope to see you next time.